but maybe you wouldn't. All right, Craig, yours was funnier than mine. Tiberius again on the attack, trying to slam in on Little Fly. Oh, he's on the arena. Flipper there, you don't want to hang around there for very long. Fly, get away. And does so. You see, I don't think that play, when it's up against uh, a welded steel chassis or a polypropylene armor, can cause much damage. Little Fly's weaponry. Spinning at 1,000 RPM, driven by a 12 volt motor up on the top there of Tiberius. Let's have a look at this again. Tiberius slamming in underneath. That's a punishing, crumpling attack onto the arena wall. Let me get all around the arena. We have spikes. You can see them there. Actually, I think are the spikes penetrating the back of Little Fly there. Tiberius is wedged in underneath. This is shunt, buckling and bouncing away. The ref bot came in. Tiberius in underneath that arena wall spike, and that is dangerous there for Sam Smith and the controls of Tiberius. They've got themselves in real problems here. Shunt penetrating that polypropylene armor to carry it away into another dangerous area under the spike. There's something wrong there. I think the gears are stuck. I think they've been immobilized. They're spinning away, but I, I think there was a problem there. I think they're stuck here in forward drive. Certainly the message has gone out to the house robots. In comes Killalot. In comes Killalot. They must have been immobilized because the house robots can come in. And Killalot. And that's the end of Tiberius Sam Smith. You are going. You are going. You are gone. Oh, no, you're not. Not yet. You are on the brink, though, Sam Smith. Get your machine away if you can. I don't think he can. I think there's no more drive. Matildi, a little sharp, a little glance, a little delicate blow. Sam Smith and Tiberius, you are gone. Well, Tiberius will roam no longer. Little Fly spreads his wings once more. Let's hear for Little Fly. Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it, really? No, it wasn't as we expected at all. We yeah. hoped to be better. Well, you got stuck on the um, grinders. On the grinders. Yeah, yeah. Well, the house robots were trying to help you out there. They were, yeah, trying to, they were trying to pull you out. But when we pulled you out, you ain't gone. Yeah, we, we lost drive quite early on, and the, the whole drive was just it's not working. wasn't responding, and uh, we have to go down and have a look and see what's happened. We're not sure yet. Because you weren't even using your spike thing, were no. you? No, uh, we're going to we're going to lost control of that as well, yeah. and pretty yeah. early on, so nothing we could do. So basically, it all went pants for you today, didn't it? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Never mind. You'll come back again, won't you? Oh yeah, Let's definitely. Let's hear it for Tiberius. <laughs> Well, little fly. Yeah. I can't believe you got through that. Um, you, you, you'll think that sort of, sort of helicopter blade wasn't doing much damage to him, but he wasn't working at all, was he? No. No, and then the house robots put him in the pit. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself on robot wars so far? Yes. <laughs> what was your um, battle plan there? Well, I mean, what were um, you trying to do? Well, we couldn't see anything obvious to hit on it, so the idea was just to run around and do whatever we could do. Try um, and keep out of its way. <laughs> yes. Um, as we just heard, the spike wasn't working, which is probably quite good for us. And then well, there's a bit of a test in the corner. We're not quite sure what happened there. And well, you, well, you got all got I mean, stuck on each other. Yeah, and once the house robot how, how split you up, you were the guys that were running. Yeah, we were still running, so uh, that was it. We basically keep out of the way, keep moving, and um, let the house robots take over. Well, there's no flies on you, is there? Let's so, hear it for Little Fly! <laughs> Young Richard Woodward was proposed to when he was four years of age. He didn't say yes, he said no. Little flight through something against Mousetrap. They're up next. Well, we've dug ourselves in, haven't we? At the back of the arena, the something. Scrapyard chic team, how you doing? <laughs> I think the laugh says it all, really. <laughs> We're overjoyed we made it through the first round. Yeah. Yeah. Have you made any repairs for this round? Yeah, we've got a different <laughs> axe on it because we won't get a bit bent, so we found a chisel and welded that to it. And um, oh, the wheel's got a little bit shredded by the fly, so we uh -huh. have to... So what's your message for Mousetrap? Have you got one? <laughs> I don't know, really. They're not the worst people in the world. You know, they're not full of diodes and computer chips and stuff. No, quite Got some tech. pneumatics going on, yeah, so, you know, we'll have to see. Was Some that? chains and cogs in there, we noticed, but I feel I think fairly confident. Weak pot, though. Oh. <laughs> so it's not all good stuff being low tech, then? No, not all the time, no. Yeah, you want to beat them anyway, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we have been pretty impressed by the mousetrap so far. 
Love the speed of the flipper, that's excellent, but it does take quite a long time to crank back up, doesn't it? Why it is does. that? I think we had a problem with the valve actuation last time, so it wasn't opening the valve fully, so it's quite slow on the return. So we put an extra uh, solenoid in there to hopefully sort that out. Excellent and news. And uh, which one of you is going to be the cheese? Cheese? <laughs> 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 no way! <laughs> Roboteers, stand by. Well, the big cheese, the mousetrap, is Jason at the controls. Something scrapyard chic. What's next? Gorgeous grunge? Classic crusty? One. Activate. What's next for something? I thought they were very impressive in the first battle. Nippy around the arena, very aggressive. Good control. They need to stay away from the mousetrap weapon. Goodness me! Did you see the force, the velocity of that mousetrap weapon spring into action there? Didn't catch something, but the warning signs are flashing. Oh, there it goes! And it has pinned something's weaponry down! A great slam of the mousetrap! Well, there was a prod of the axe, and look at that for a slam of the mousetrap. I wonder why they didn't keep it there, though. They pinned something in. They could have dragged it towards the pit, dragged it into a CPZ, let the house robots take over. Did they let something get away too cheaply there? Will they rue that decision? Something bouncing off the front of Mousetrap, using the wedge shape to get in underneath something, a ground clearance of 8mm on the sump. A little bit... Tentative now, something again, the mousetrap weaponry comes down. See the great spring on top there? The chassis of mousetrap used to be an office desk, by the way. As something's prongs come flicking out the front and the axe again, the big axe. But all of a sudden, that doesn't look too punishing, does it? This is very even at the moment, but mousetrap has suddenly stopped moving. And it's something doing all the aggression. And Shunt senses something is on. No, Mouse Trap's OK. Just moving away. The first gear perhaps stops once more. Is everything OK with the Mouse Trap control for Jason Launchbury? Jason responsible for the electrics of the team. His dad stands for the mechanics. But Mouse Trap's second best here, quite clearly. Another attack by something slamming against the inner wall. What's happened there? Something has caused its self-distress and damage. We'll have to have a look at it again, but it... Came hurtling towards the arena wall, and I think something is immobilised here. Let's look at it again. Down went the forks on the front, and they buckled underneath, and that means there's no traction for the great wheels. Something. Dig, you have dug yourself into oblivion here. And in come the house robots. Mousetrap was barely alive, but something killed itself off. This is dead metal. Oh, what a shame. Oh, that's a grisly end because they were well on top. But it's the house robots now who will finish off the load. Tech battler something built for brawling scrap yard chic. But I'm afraid in the end, pitted against superior opposition of the house robots after causing itself so much damage, it will be sweet nothing for something tossed and tattered, bashed and bruised and beaten. In comes Dead Metal, and something is pitted. Cease. What a shame. Well, something mobilised themselves. Mousetrap was still moving, albeit slightly. Mousetrap, go through! <laughs> They're not guilty. <laughs> well, I mean, if he was only moving ever so slightly, if you well, just, just kept away from them and just, you know, just sort I've, of well, we've behave got yourself. Blows in there. We've got a few good blows in there. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely, lovely axe. Lovely design, that robot as well. What, what went wrong? Um, we've got a chain and it snapped. When the chain snaps, it leaps over and beaches itself on its own forklift. Now, it's a bit of a design flaw, you might think. <laughs> a definite design flaw. <laughs> He beached something. Indeed so, sir. Hey, you're going to sort that floor out for next time? We'll try our best. It's been nice having you here, lads. Let's Thanks hear for something! <laughs> well, I thought that something was going to nick your cheese. I thought it was, actually, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, a... it's a very unusual robot. What's that sort of trap bit do? I mean, once you've trapped him, you did trap his, his, yes. his axe, and then, but then you've got to let it go, haven't you? Well, we don't have to. We just thought we'd... Uh... 
try and tra try and hit him again. Now, some if, more damage. if the trapper in the pit's activated, you can actually then try and drag them towards the that pit. That was the original design idea, yeah. yeah. We actually trap them and then take them where we want them. I think we're lucky, actually. You're very <laughs> lucky, very lucky. Woo! You're through to the next round, though. Yep, that's brilliant. Let's hear it for Mousetrap! <laughs>